Hey, what's up guys? Collector John here. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today we're bringing it back to my roots once again with a classic Xbox 360 unboxing video. Yet he doesn't like Xbox 360s. He just wants me to play with him. Oh, poor buddy. So I ordered this Xbox 360 a few months ago off of goodwillfinds.com. Uh, I paid $45 for it. I still haven't had a chance to unbox it, but that's gonna change today because we're gonna be pulling this thing out of the box and seeing how it looks, checking the condition of it. And uh, I have a pretty good feeling that this thing might actually be on a Blades dashboard. And there's a couple reasons for that. The main one being that it is a very early model Xbox 360. I remember based on the photos that it seemed like it was still in pretty good condition and it maybe hadn't been used that much. So there's a chance that the owner uh, only used it for a year or two and then never updated it to a newer dashboard. And I don't know, I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but it's just like something that's kind of in the back of my mind when I buy an Xbox 360 like this, is that, uh, oh, this might be a Blades dashboard Xbox 360. But ultimately, I only paid $45 for this thing. Uh, I really wanted the box mostly. Um, I'm pretty stoked on that box for sure. But we're gonna take a look at everything, see if it'll power on, see if it'll play some video games. And uh, yeah, you guys can uh, tell me if I scored or not. I guess we'll see later on in the video how we did. I've been sitting on this thing for way too long. I'm itching to finally uh, unbox this bad boy and see what we got. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it and start unboxing this $45 Xbox 360 from goodwillfinds.com. All right, so here's the box. Uh, let's open up this bad boy. It's a pretty heavy box, so I'm assuming, uh, you know, there's an Xbox 360 in here, hopefully. Reason my uh, I love my 4x4 knife today from the Porcupine Mountains. I don't even own a 4x4, but that's fine. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, that looks like an Xbox 360. Oh man, that uh, that looks really nice. It's been a very long time since I've seen uh, one of these boxes in person. Uh, so this is really cool. Let's pull this bad boy out of here. This is really heavy. We gotta flip it a little bit. All right, uh, that looks that looks really really nice. I mean, there's some you know a little bit of creasing down here, some wear and tear around the edges. Uh, this side's a little this side's a little rougher, but uh, it looks a lot better than the other Xbox uh, 360 box that I have. So um, so far, I'm really happy about this. Let's just kind of flip it around, and, uh, see what we're looking at here. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, the back is looking pretty nice as well. And yeah, that's all looking really good. Uh, I don't need this to be perfect. Um, this box is gonna go on a shelf because uh, I think this style of box looks awesome. I like it more than the, uh, the revised box art that I have right now. Um, so yeah, this is gonna go on a shelf for display and I think it's gonna be really good for that. Um, you know, a little bit of damage here and there, but overall I'm really, really happy with the uh, condition of this box. I think it looks really awesome. Okay, so without further ado, let's crack this open and take a look at the actual Xbox and see how that's looking. Uh, from what I remember, a lot of the like original uh, packaging was in here and kind of looks to be that way so far. Oh yeah, we got some manuals. Uh, that's not great. So we have two of the same manual. One of them is uh, destroyed and then the other one is fine. Uh, these aren't in like different languages or anything, are they? No, these are both the same. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna get rid of this crappy one. And uh, we'll just hang on to this one, because this one looks really nice. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this at all. And I'm like pretty stoked to have all this documentation. This is all stuff that I don't have. This Xbox 360, um, you know, originally it would have been a Blades model. So all of this documentation is like kind of that original Blades uh, aesthetic. Um, oh man, this is really, <laughs> this is really awesome. I've not looked at this stuff in a long time. Uh, not since 2006, probably. And... This is like, it's not stuck together, it's just kind of like creased weird. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, this this is really cool. Um, this Xbox Live guide is pretty sick. Uh, yeah, man, again, haven't seen any of this for, you know, upwards of 16 or 17 years. So uh, this is, this is awesome. This is really cool to see. Setup guide as well, uh, some cool stuff in there. Uh, oh, even has the original warranty. And, uh, oh, there's some more stuff in here. Let's just, let's just pull all this out. I don't think this has ever even been pulled out of the bag because the bag wasn't opened all the way. 
Um, but I opened it because I want to. I want to look at it. I want to look at that warranty and uh, you know read about my warranty that I'm sure is still valid for this Xbox 360. Here's a guide on portable music players. Uh, you can connect portable music players to your Xbox 360 console to enjoy music while playing Xbox 360 games. Uh, yeah, that's dope. That's really dope. What is this? We got a free issue of the official Xbox magazine. Uh, that's freaking awesome. Oh man. Uh, I absolutely love having all this stuff. This is so, so cool. Um, what is this thing? This is like a, oh wow. This is some kind of uh, like registering your Xbox or something. It's a service contract. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Not, I mean, not something that I need, but again, it's just awesome to have all this stuff. So that's freaking sweet. Uh, yeah, so far this is all looking really good, especially for what I paid for it. Honestly, at this point, I don't even really care if the Xbox works or not. <laughs> um, I'm like pretty stoked to even have the box and like all this documentation for what I paid. I'm like pretty happy with that. But um, I'm gonna pull this out and uh, we'll see how this Xbox 360 is looking. Um, that top part looks pretty clean. Uh, there's some, you know, a few minor scuffs here and there, but uh, overall this is looking really good. Um, a little bit of yellowing on the front, not like the cleanest, widest Xbox 360 I've ever seen, but uh, mostly looking okay. All the doors are intact, which is, you always love to see that. Yeah, disk drive is the classic silver, not the white matte finish, which I think I prefer the matte finish a little more. Uh, comes with a hard drive. Yep, that's, uh, that's an Xbox 360 hard drive. So yeah, manufacture date is September 5th, 2006. Uh, this would have originally been on blades for sure. Um, and you know, when I see something like this where it's like really complete in the box and doesn't look like it's been used in a while, uh, that kind of gets my hopes up that maybe we're on a blades dashboard still. Um, I have no idea. It's, it's still highly unlikely, but you never know. If we look at the power supply information over here, it looks like we're not on a Jasper motherboard. I uh, knew it wasn't a Jasper, that's totally fine. Um, just hoping it still works. Uh, yeah, we'll plug this in pretty soon and see if it works, but let's go through the rest of the contents of this box first. Oh man, <laughs> here's another thing that I haven't seen in a very long time. Yeah, so the controller and cables are still in their original bags for the most part, which is pretty sick. Uh, let's pull this controller out, take a look at it. Oh man, this is so, this is awesome. Um, Here's another thing that I noticed on the listing, the controller still has this sticker on it. So again, that's another thing where I look at it and think, well, maybe this was lightly used just for a little while and uh, high potential that it's still on blades, like higher potential than like your average Xbox 360 for sure. Um, this is like a pretty decent looking controller. It's a little dirty, but like this is, this is really good. Like it still has these little nubs on the joysticks and usually those are worn right off because they were used so much Buttons feel really nice. Again, still has that sticker. Uh, still has the original sticker on the battery pack, which is cool. Let's see if there's any corrosion in this battery pack. Uh, I won't be able to show it on camera because it's too dark, but that looks really good. There's no corrosion at all. Um, this is like honestly one of the better Xbox 360 controllers that I've seen in a very long time. And uh, yeah, it comes with the original bag, which is awesome. So uh, that's great. I'm really stoked about that. Let's keep going through this stuff and see how the rest of it's looking. Here's just a loose bag. I'm not really sure what this was for, but uh, we'll hang on to it because uh, I, these bags are cool. Okay. Oh, we got we got a headset. I didn't even see this in the listing. I don't think. Um, man, this is still this headset still has the original uh, tape on it. So, man, I I'm assuming this hasn't been used. Uh, it looks like the the cord in there is still zip tied. Uh, I don't know if I even want to open this. This is <laughs> this is really cool. Um, I'm gonna leave this sealed for now. Like, I'm not gonna use it. Um, it's awesome that this is in here and that it's still sealed. That's, I've, I haven't seen that in a very long time, so that's great. And here is the video cable. Uh, that's looking pretty good. Still has this sticker on it. Um, wow, yeah, this is like a really clean Xbox 360 video cable. Again, haven't seen one that looks this good in a long time, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's hard to say whether this was just lightly used or if it's just someone who took good care of their stuff. Uh, you never know. This is a huge power supply. Yeah, this I haven't seen this in a long time. The Xbox 360 Arcade that I have with the Jasper motherboard, it has like kind of a shorter power supply than this. And then the Slim that I have is obviously like a completely different power supply. So I haven't seen this like freaking long boy 
uh, Xbox 360 power supply in a while. Um, it's looking a little dirtier than some of this other stuff. So like, yeah, this thing's obviously been used uh, a somewhat fair amount, but um, again, like the, most of this stuff just looks a lot better than what I'm used to seeing with Xbox 360s. And last but not least, we have, I don't know what this is. Is this an ethernet cable? And yeah, it looks like this has never been used either. And it's honestly a pretty nice looking ethernet cable. I might use this for something else, I don't know. Yeah, so that's uh, everything out of the box. Um, overall, so far, I'm really happy with this. Like, even if this isn't on blades, I'll be happy. Even if the Xbox 360 doesn't work, I'll probably still be happy just because, you know, look at this. I have a controller that's still in this bag and I have all these cool green and orange bags, you know? You know, what else could you ask for? I'll pay $50 for this, I don't give a shit. All right, well, I guess it's time to plug this thing in and see if it works, see if it boots up, see if it'll play an Xbox 360 game. Uh, I have no idea, so I'm gonna take a quick ad break and then we'll be right back. We'll be testing this thing out. So yeah, this is my normal Xbox 360 that I use. Uh, it's my daily driver. Um, like I said earlier, it is a Jasper. Yeah, we're gonna take that out and put in this, uh, this one from Goodwill Finds and see if it works. Uh, oh yeah, I need to use this other power cable here. Let's see if I got the power cable in. Uh, I'm just gonna use the video cable that I was using with my other 360 just cause that's a little easier for setup and I don't really care if the uh, new video cable from Goodwill works or not. I have enough of them. So we'll just slide that right on in there. That looks pretty good in there. I really like the, uh, the older style of Xbox 360 aesthetic mixed with the CRT TV. Uh, that's just a vibe. I think it looks cool. I don't know. All right, I think it's finally time to power this bad boy on. Uh, I really hope it's on blades, but again, I'm not gonna throw a hissy fit if it isn't. Uh, also, I hope it turns on. I hope it freaking works. That'd be cool. All right, so it is turning on. Uh, it's very loud. And uh, nope, we are, <laughs> we're not on blades. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. Would have been cool, but not the end of the world. So yeah, it looks like... Uh... Looks like we're in the wrong aspect ratio, so I'll have to fix that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try out this uh, this controller and throw some batteries in here, see how this controller works. Okay, so that power's on, so that's great. Uh, hooked right up, cool, cool, cool. How do you change the aspect ratio? Console settings, display, uh, 480p, and normal. There we go, that's a little better. Okay, well, at the very least, I'm glad that it turns on. I'm glad that the controller works. Uh, we're gonna throw a couple games in here and see what happens. My cat keeps crying. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> uh, check out this hard drive. Uh, that looks to be a uh, 16 gigabyte drive and it's recognized, so that's good. And at Goodwill, I don't know if they're taking these and like hooking them up to the internet and like updating them and stuff before they sell them, like when they wipe the hard drives off. Um, cause I know that they're like getting everything off the hard drive before they sell them. So maybe they're updating them too. Uh, I don't think they would do that. Like, especially with something like this, where you need to hook it up to an ethernet cable or have like a Wi-Fi adapter. Um, I feel like they're definitely not doing that, but I, I'm not really sure there's no way for me to know. All right, let's open up this disc tray. Okay. That opens right up. That's good. And, uh, you know, we'll just start with the classic. We'll throw Halo 3 in there and uh, see if it'll read Halo 3. I gotta take the sticker off. All right, good old Halo 3. Going into the old Xbox 360. Yeah, I mean, the chances of this thing having, okay, well, it's reading Halo 3. Uh, chances of these having red rings are really high. Um, these older models that don't have the Jasper motherboards. But, you know, not everyone had that same experience. Some people still have their launch Xbox 360s that are still working. Um, it really just depends. I think if I were to continue using this, it probably would red ring at some point. Um, I guess you never know, but it's just like very high chance little red ring. So I, I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> should I, should I just keep it in the box? Should I sell it to someone else? Cause I don't really have a use for it. Um, should I soft mod it? Should I hardware mod it? Um, I'm not really sure. There's a lot of different, uh, options. This controller is really nice. Uh, I think I need to clean it up a little bit, um, just with like a toothbrush and some isopropyl. Um, it has some grime on it, but like overall, this is definitely one of the nicer 360 controllers I've seen. I think I might leave these stickers on just cause, well, this is a different battery. This is a different battery pack, but uh, the sticker on the front and the one that's on this other battery pack, I'm probably just gonna leave those on cause I think they're kind of cool. Um, and yeah, I, 
Honestly, an Xbox 360 controller like this where it's in really good condition, I don't know if I actually want to use it. <laughs> I might just put it back in this bag and then put it in the box. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should use this? I have other Xbox 360 controllers that work fine. Um, this one's just like a little nicer once I clean it up. So, I don't know. Feels good. All the buttons and stuff feel really good on it. Uh, for how old this Xbox 360 is, it's really not that loud. I have had uh, much louder ones that were newer. Here's what the uh, fan and disc drive are sounding like right now. Yeah, not too bad. I'd say that's pretty good for an old Xbox 360. I mean, it's still loud. Like, if I was going to use it, I would just install the games to it. Um, but it's really not that bad. All right, well, this seems to be uh, working pretty well. Volume level's pretty good. We'll try another game just for good measure, but uh, so far I'm happy with this 360. Um, it's just one of those things where I'm not really sure what to do with it. Uh, but yeah, you guys can give me some thoughts on that, maybe. Uh, I'm going to throw Dead or Alive 5 in here, just, uh, just for funsies. All right, we're going to play this on Rookie because I'm terrible at fighting games. Uh, we're going to play as... Who should we play as? Rig? Should play as Rig? How about... Uh... I mean, Zack is the classic. Um, we're gonna go with Tina. Uh, Tina is sexy, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Uh, as you can see, uh, this game is running in 16.9 so far. It does not have a. Uh, it's not converting to 4.3 for an old CRT. Uh, some Xbox 360 games do, some don't. Um, but yeah, let's see what this is all about. Oh, my fighting on Ninja Gaiden guy. That's cool. I don't know if that character has a name. It probably does. Is just the ninja. Ninja Gaiden Man. I think that's his name. I haven't played this. I, I know I've played this before. It's been a long time. Uh, runs at 60, which is really nice. Wish it ran in native 4.3 for my old TV here, but that's fine. And uh, yeah, rookie mode is very easy, apparently. Oh my goodness. This isn't safe for YouTube. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, that's going to do it, I think, for this Xbox 360 unboxing video. Uh, sad that it's not on Blades, but, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, my God. Um, yeah, again, let me know what you guys think I should do with this thing. Uh, I mean, I could sell it. I don't feel like I would get that much money for it. Um, I'm definitely going to throw the box up on my shelf and probably put it with my other Xbox 360 box and just have, just have two of them up there. I don't know. I don't need two Xbox 360 boxes, but it's, it looks cool, whatever. I don't really know anything about Xbox 360 modding. I've never done it before. I know that there's definitely a scene around it. Uh, so I might look into that and see what I can do with this thing. Um, but ultimately, using this Xbox 360 will probably end badly. If, if I continue to use it, it'll probably red ring at some point. So yeah, I don't know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you want more Xbox 360 content, you can check out this video here. That's a pretty good one. You might like it. And yeah, I'm Collector John. We'll see you guys in the next one.